shit. All right, people, welcome back to another ghastly episode of the Dark Dimension Podcast. I am your host, Arlene, and I'm over here with my other co-host, Eric Moreno. Y'all already know who this is, but in case you're just tuning in for your first time on episode 11? 11. Yeah, 11, yeah. Man. We on 11, it's like so Stranger Things, 11, got to put that little girl on there, little white girl on there and shit. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's me, guys. Thank <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. You're too kind. Too, well, too kind, too kind. So what's up, man? How you doing, bro? You ready for this, man? I'm ready, I'm ready. Bro. Shit. I'm I'm ready. ready. Let's do this motherfucking shit. We took like, I don't know, 20 minutes trying to set up just now. Man, we trying to do all kinds of shit, people, so bear with us, yeah, you know what I mean? We're trying to bring you the best podcast we can. <laughs> no now. doubt, no doubt. Taking you in mind here into consideration. Exactly. Here we go. Yeah, so what's yeah. up, man? What topics we have for today? We, I, I have a lot that I want to talk about. I know you have a lot you want to talk about. Yes, yes. Uh, do you want to catch up? Uh, how's your weekend being? We being? Uh, uh, it's how been you good, man. It's been good. Yeah. I had a, uh, a wedding last week. It was really fun. Oh, okay. That's not nice. My friends were there, and we had some drinks. Nice. And it was right next to Marina Del Rey. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, Marina Del Rey. Yeah, it was at a bar called Whiskey Reds, I think it's called. Whiskey Reds. If I remember okay. correctly. It's a Marina Del Rey, uh, but it's... Right by where the uh, the boats dock, okay. And so you can see the water, you can see the boats, and then we got there right at sunset, so the sun was going down. It made it perfect for wow. pictures. Sounds legit. It was beautiful, and the yeah. wedding itself was awesome. It was really nice. And that place right there where they held the the wedding, it's like it's like a restaurant. It's really it's really cool. It's oh, okay. the food was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. The drinks were great too. Yeah. So I recommend that place to anybody that's in Marina Del Rey. Whiskey Red. If you want to get fancy, you know where to go. Yeah. Know and then yesterday, I went to this really good pizza joint. Oh, pizza. I love yeah. pizza. Oh, man. It's called Prince St. Pizza. Oh. And it's in West Hollywood. Now, this company started in, I think, New York. Yeah. New York. New York. And now they opened up their own little place here in, in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. And I went there yesterday for the first time and tried their pizza there. Um, they have a display of different types of, of pizzas, right? Um, yeah. You got your margarita, you got your pepperoni, etc. I tried uh, Meat Lovers, and I think my wife had the, the margarita one. So good. Nice. I highly recommend it. Is it Anybody? like New York style pizza though, or is it like where they have different kinds? The margarita one was New York oh, okay. style pizza. The other one was just like a thick, thick crust, but it was so good. And the pepperonis, have you ever seen those little, the little pepperonis? And they're like, they go upwards. They're not flat. The no, the ones like they're like cut and like thick or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They have those yeah, toppings on it. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, man, it was so good. Nice. I'd recommend that place. Yeah. But yeah, man, that's it. New York City. Good old New York City pizza. Now, I, I need to go to the real New York because I really want to go to New York and get some like authentic fucking New York pizza. It's good. You know it's I mean? good. I went like years ago with your cousin when he yeah, used to live out there. Rob Bacon. Yeah, shout out to Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we went to I forgot the name of that place yeah. it starts with an L some Italian joint hey, Luis Pizza really time yeah, yeah, get so it good. you're from California uh, that's probably a bad forget accent. about it yeah, forget man. about it <laughs> it was delicious yeah if, it, if you're it, it, there is a difference yeah. I don't know what the difference is I don't know if it's the water or the way they make the crust the, uh, the dough I have no idea what it is but it's something about that pizza in New York that just makes it totally different Italian and I guess yeah, I can say the same thing for the pizza in Chicago. Now I can't speak on that because I haven't been in Chicago. Me neither. Maybe we can chime, chime in uh, bacon one of the days. <laughs> yeah, no, he's always in Chicago over there. a lot. Exactly. So maybe he could give us a, a couple of pointers. Oh, he that. should. I'm pretty sure he's frequented a lot of uh, food spots. You know, <laughs> Rob, Chicago, yeah. Rob, Rob. Rob loves to eat, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that pizza place is good, man. So awesome. if anybody's in town or if you live here in Los Angeles, check out that place. So it's awesome. the same. Pizza. Prince, but not like the music, musician Prince. It's not his. Not like the. Uh, <laughs> no, not that Prince. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, your week sounded better than mine. Actually, mine was oh, a little man. bit stressful, slightly stressful. Tell me about it, brother. All right, I'll tell people. People, um, your uncle Art lunatic. You know, he had to do his civil duty this week, and that was to report the jury duty. Oh. And so that was quite uh, quite an experience because I had never went. I was always able to, you know, get excused, you know, before. And, yeah. and uh, I was supposed to go like two weeks ago, but I had got sick with the flu. And it, it wasn't COVID because I tested like three times, but it was, it was pretty bad flu because I got really sick. 
but I'm better now. And so I, I went went ahead because she was like, just go on the 16th for calling or whatever. And I mm-hmm. called them and they were like, yeah, just come in on Wednesday, 12:30, whatever. So I did, and I didn't expect to see a hundred fucking people, like over a hundred people, just waiting. Like that's all we did was wait while they called our names and shit. Just wait to see if you would catch a case. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, basically. And so yeah, so everybody got assigned different cases and shit. And I was like, oh man. And so I, finally they called me out and, uh, and it was for a civil case. Now, obviously, I can't get into the details of it, but uh, <laughs> it was it, it, the company is a company I worked for, actually. No way. Yeah. So I was like, damn, that's crazy. But then they 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 uh, they ask what they send you. They give you this paper like questionnaire thing you got to fill out. And, kind of uh, trying to determine whether or not you would fit their jury, right? Exactly, yes. Okay. And so I went ahead and did that. And uh, But they asked questions like, have you ever worked for this company, blah, 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 and so far. So I, I knew ahead of time that I'd probably get excused. Okay. So I did that shit with confidence, right? And, uh, and yeah, I worked for this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> These so, goddamn slave yeah. owners. I basically did, because I did write a little paragraph of what happened to me at that job and why I got fired. <laughs> and so I was like, well, they should probably call me the next day. And I can get to sleep in or whatever. They didn't call me, <laughs> so I had to just go Surprise. report. Yeah, there was a, I had to go in at ten thirty, and so and the courthouse isn't that far from my house. It's in uh, Riverside, so it was like a ten minute drive from my house, right? Oh, that's not that bad. And so I get there, and it turns out my case in particular was at a different building, a <laughs> court building. Uh, so I was like, "Fuck, where's that at?" And so I pretty much wasted like 10 minutes trying to find out where it was at. And I had to walk and shit. And so I finally get in there and I have to walk up like upstairs. And there was like a bunch of jurors, Can't right? Take that nah, they didn't have elevators, but they made me walk upstairs and shit. But, <laughs> but uh, once I got there, it was like a gang of people. And the first person I see was like this cop lady. And she was like in the corner. And I was like, Do you work here? And she was like, No, but I'm, I guess she was here for juror or whatever. But she was like, Are you Everett? And I was like, Yeah. And she was like, <laughs> They just called your name. Like, you need to go ahead and talk to him. I was like, oh, shit. Stress, isn't it? <laughs> so I was like, oh, shit, all bad. And then people were laughing and shit, like the people waiting and shit. I was like, this is embarrassing. Oh, and so I get there, and then I have to wait for the security dude to walk out and call my name. And he was like, last time for Everett. <laughs> and I was like, right here, sir, I'm here. <laughs> and so I walk in, and I thought, I legit thought that the judge was going to be pissed. I thought everybody was just going to, like, chew me out. Yeah, so everybody's going to turn their head and just be like, you know, I'm fucking guy. The, you're the guy. Yeah. But uh, I thought it was going to be like, do you remember that movie, My Cousin Vinny with Joe Pesci? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, for people that haven't seen it, he was like basically like this janky-ass uh, New York Want to be lawyer? I guess that had to defend his cousins because they got uh, some kind of murder charge that they didn't do. Right. But they were like, he was like the only lawyer they knew, so he had to go to Alabama. <laughs> and so he's talking with a super ass New York accent. And the judge is like, "What the fuck?" You know what yeah. I mean? And so I thought that was gonna be me today. I went mean, when I went, and then but the, everybody, to be honest, they were cool. They basically, I, I came in there, I was like, "I'm sorry, uh, your honors." I, I really even say your honor in court, but I said, "Sorry, this judge guy. lady." I was like, he was, he was a guy, but he was cool. He was cool. You know what I mean? Everybody was laughing and shit. Yeah. So I came in, I was like, you know, I got lost, and then he, they, he was like, the reason I needed to talk to you first, I was like, fuck, and it was because of what you said in your questionnaire in regards to the company you work for, and so they started asking me questions in regards to whether I would be biased or not. Uh, okay. And I, I was straight up, I'm like, probably gonna be biased. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was like, I'm not gonna lie to you. But then they, they're like, well, if, if given the evidence, sufficient evidence, do you think you could be making you know, the right kind of judgment in this case? Are you, or are you gonna be biased? And I'm like, well, I don't know, pretty biased. <laughs> so I had to tell them how I got fired and everything. But they were cool about it. Like I said, everybody was cool. He was like, thank you, um, just step outside. And right when he said that, I started walking towards him. And he was like, and yes, we are gonna talk about you. And I just laughed Uh-oh. And everybody laughed Everybody was cool It was like a cool vibe And then I thought I was like Is this maybe Because I'm Am I high still Because I had Ate some edibles The night prior So I was like I hope I'm not still high Or something But I had mad anxiety When I went in there Because it was like All these fancy Lawyer types in there And they were just all like You know Looking at you And asking yeah, questions yeah, yeah. And shit I was like, fuck. <laughs> but in the end, it was cool. He was like, when I came back in there, he was like, yeah, due to your experience, whatever, blah, you know, we're just going to excuse you. Uh, you're fine. You've done your civil duty. You can leave. But everybody was just real oh, nice cool, to me. Right? Yeah. That's good. So you got excused when I'm about your day? Exactly. 
The yeah. judge was really nice. Unlike the judge from my DUI, who was a complete asshole, oh, and threw man. a book at me. <laughs> that motherfucker. I don't know if he hated me or something, because he was like, look, I'm going to give you five years probation. If you get in trouble with anything else, any misdemeanor, it's going to be double the fine, double the charge. I'm like... Jesus Christ, like, what I do? I was just a misdemeanor DUI. Like, calm down. You know what I mean? But that's what happens when you don't have a lawyer to represent you. Yeah, that's so, true. So, you know, it is what it is, people. I don't know. Yeah, that was I'm my little adventure. Over, yes, yes. That, uh, catching a, I caught a case once. I actually caught a case, and I had to go and attend for five days. Oh, shit. Wow. Uh, it was not cool. So I had to be, I had to you know, tell my boss that I couldn't make it. Um, and I had the proof and everything, like, Mailed it to, he emailed it to them and um, yeah I went every day I'm not going to go into details about it but yeah. it was like uh, what do you call a hung jury oh, hung jury oh, uh, where you can't really make a decision of, yeah. of where you want to go so the judge ended up making the call so she excused everybody by oh, the nice. week they got for that because <laughs> I was like man I hope this isn't drag for another fucking week just because we can't come to a goddamn <laughs> agreement and they don't pay much no, they only pay 15 an hour I mean a day a day people yeah and so I was eating Starbucks every day because that was like the only thing that was close by no but it's cool because <laughs> I like Starbucks that's cool man. and they have like different sandwiches at Starbucks you ever had the sandwiches at Starbucks yeah yeah they I had like this pesto that. sandwich man I had that like at least three days in a row it was so good they're overpriced but they're, they're good they are yeah. overpriced I will everything at Starbucks is overpriced yeah that's true but so whatever yeah, we had like vending machines in the one I was there, but I didn't get anything. I was just ready to leave. Jesus Christ! It was boring as fuck waiting for them to just call your name. But yeah, people, let's get into some good shit. The shit y'all want to hear about, man. I was gonna ask you, man. What you wanna ask me, man? You went to go see Doctor Strange. Excuse me? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I seen. premiered last week, right? Yes. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yes. 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 Um, I just want to know one thing. Just one thing. Spoiler alert. No spoilers. If you don't want to hear anything about it. I haven't seen it myself. Okay. I'm not, uh, I won't spoil much. No, don't spoil no. much. I don't want to hear anything about it except for this question. Okay. All right. Is All right. zombie Doctor Strange in it? Yes, he very oh, much okay, is, cool. and it is very cool. That is all awesome. I can say. It does have horror elements, as you just you asked me. It has a lot of horror elements, actually. Okay. Um, a lot of, well, not a lot, but there is some surprising amount of gore in it. Um, well, the director is a, he directed a, a previous horror movie. Didn't yes, that, the, what the what Evil Dead franchise. Oh, that's what he did. And Spider-Man, the original trilogy. So he has he well, has experience in both, you know, Comic genres. World and the horror movie. Exactly. World. He was the perfect fit for this, uh, for this movie. You know? So it's a good movie. Um, yeah, I mean, we're dealing with a book that's kind of like the Necromonicon. Uh, what's it called? The Necromonicon Comic Con <laughs> from uh, Evil Dead. That right, evil yes. book. Yeah, that evil yeah. Ass book. And so we're dealing with an evil book in this movie as well. And so, you know, it just makes sense. Like I think Disney made the right. Uh, Disney and Marvel made the right. You know, casting call. For casting Disney. call. Yes. And uh, but yeah, he does his thing, man. It's like I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go into spoilers, but if you are a fan of horror and Sam Raimi, I think you'll enjoy it. And there's a lot of trippy visuals, really cool scenes in there. I mean, like there's yeah. some, there's some stuff in there I would I would love to talk about, but we'll we'll do that in a uh, you know future episode when we yeah, discuss the movie. Hopefully, everybody's seen it by then. I need to go watch it again to be honest. Like, like that's how good it was. I got my tickets. Or I'm gonna go see it on Tuesday. You know what I want to see it in that I've never tried a uh, D box. Where the seats move and oh, it's all it, that crazy honestly, shit. Honestly, not missing much. Oh, okay. People yeah. hyping it up. Then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and I took my wife once, uh, so she okay. could experience it as well. And she told me she prefers the recliner seats than the yeah, box. Yeah, I feel. But it's fun though if you want to go do it and try it out. For so the they first don't time. recline. Oh, that sucks. They don't recline. Yeah, they yeah. just move around a lot. Oh, okay. You feel the vibration stuff, and when there's like an action scene, something explodes, you feel that vibration. Yeah. But other than that, it's. It's not gonna wow you. Oh, okay. It won't no. blow you away. Never mind then, people. <laughs> when I got the Dolby digital viewing, which is cool, like that Dolby uh, surround sound, that shit's amazing. Oh, man, like, that's surround sound. I think they had speakers by the seats or something because you could feel oh, all the rooms. It's just pretty dope, bro. I recommend that, even though it's more pricier, but for certain movies that you really want to see in, yeah. you know, good screen and then there's long, you know, and audio as well. So I think that's the best fit for that kind of thing, man. What, uh, what do you rate this movie out of 10? I rate it a 9. A nine? Um, yeah, wow. nine. It, I, I wouldn't say a ten just because there were some things that I was kind of looking forward to that actually didn't happen. But that was just me being a fan and you know fan theories, yeah, yeah, and, you yeah. know. So I had kind of high expectations for that. But it does kind of uh, it still op- leaves the door open for many uh, 
future installments, okay, you know. Okay. So I'm looking forward to the horror elements now into the Marvel Universe because it does get into it, and I loved it. I loved every second. You of know it. what I'm hoping for? One yeah. day, eventually, they make a horror Marvel Zombies movie. Yes, I think you spoke on it on the last episode, and I agree. I bought those comic books long time ago when the first ones came out because they rebooted it. Oh, they, and they were really good. Oh, really? Wow. I thought yeah. they were good. I thought yeah. they were good. They were uh, fun read. They so, were popular. Yeah. I remember hearing about it. Not any read them. And the art is fucking it. awesome. Yeah, too. I seen the art. Yeah, the art's amazing. So that's what I'm hoping for. If not an action, if not an action movie uh, with live people, at least a cartoon one. Like, yes. With the the What If series. I thought that was cool. Oh yeah, that's another the, thing. The about. animation's really good on that show too. Really. Speaking of the uh, What If series, do you have to have? Do I have to see that? No. What If series and the Scarlet Witch series. I would say the, the, the WandaVision, yeah. The WandaVision, I mean, yeah. You don't necessarily have to, but I think it would help, bro, because the movie does kind of, like, get into it. it. It explains a little bit about it, you know, about it. It goes into exposition about it, but I think uh, it has a better emotional impact on you if you've seen uh, WandaVision. Oh, okay, okay. You know? But you don't necessarily have to see it. Like I said, the movie does kind of touch into it, you know. But it is a continuation of WandaVision for anybody that's, like, curious about that. And uh, I really love WandaVision because it brought, like, witchcraft elements in into it. You know, it brought some horror elements into it that I really liked. Yeah. I thought WandaVision sure. kind of dragged its first episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, the first two? Yeah, the first it's, two, yeah. It was interesting the way it was recorded. Yeah. Um, and how it was, like... The production. You got your 50s sitcom type. Yeah. And then you have your 60s uh, sitcom type. And yeah. it just kept going in that direction, but I was like, okay, so... Well, once it gets to the happen. Halloween episode, that's when it got... That's when it changes. Which was, so, I think... 80s or something like that? Yeah, I think the, it was, yeah, it was, a, no, it was an 80s episode before the Halloween. I think the Halloween was supposed to be like 90s or something. Okay, okay. And then it jumps into more shit. But as, as, once you get to that point, it's already like switching back into like yeah. WandaVision show and switching back into the reality, the real right, reality. Right. You know what I mean? So that's when you get into the, you know, the meat of the show, yes. if you will. You just gotta be a little patient. But yeah, those first two, I can understand people not liking, especially younger people that weren't, you know, didn't grow up on, uh, on stuff like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I did, you know, I, I was one of those little immigrant kids that watch all these old <laughs> old school uh, TV shows to try to Americanize myself. I love Lucy. You know, I, I, always, I, I love Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> I love uh, all those all those Bewitched. You know what I mean? Like I used to watch that. I used to watch all that Genie. I, I used to watch you know Andy Griffith show. Andy I Griffith. I think I watched a little bit of that. I watched a bunch. They used to show them on TBS. I think that's probably where yeah, you watched them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, free TV. You can't beat that. I, I would watch a lot of Nick at Night as a kid, and I was that's why I'm able, I was able to relate to the character of Wanda because that's what she did. You know, they show a flashback of her in uh, in the show, and she was like a little kid in whatever Slo- Slovakia, whatever that country's n- name is, and, yeah. and she was learning about American culture through TV, which uh, is cool. Oh, but I'm gonna cool. say my two cents about watching TV about learning American culture. You do read it, but uh, you do get that information from it, but it gives you false expectations of real life. <laughs> real life, it's not like those shows at all. But you know, that's just a TV thing. But you know, to a young impressionable mind, you know, it does yeah. give you false expectations of life. For someone, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like you're saying, for somebody that's not even from here, my yeah. wife was telling me that. that she thought that you could see the Hollywood sign from everywhere. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, where's the Hollywood sign? <laughs> no, I'm like, nah, you got to go to Inglewood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which uh, has gotten gentrified a lot lately. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's only going to get more... Uh, I think uh, a lot of people of uh, the lower class are probably going to be moved out. Probably, exactly. And a so lot of uh, the higher class... Upper class is gonna are gonna move in, and it's all because of that new stadium. Yeah, you know what's funny though? When they did the Super Bowl, they called Inglewood Hollywood. <laughs> they did. <laughs> I was like, that's not Hollywood. What the fuck? But whatever, I guess. It's close. It's like, close. Like, if you want to, that's, people sometimes go through Inglewood if they want to bypass the freeway, so they go through Crenshaw all the way, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, I guess you can call it Hollywood, but whatever. it's Inglewood. <laughs> but yeah, people. But yeah, that, I definitely recommend that movie, man, for, for, I'm, I'm for darn sure. And so, uh, I wanted to ask you, have you ever seen this vampire movie from the 80s? It's kind of rare, to be honest. A lot of people haven't seen it. It's called Near Dark. Near Dark? Yes. From the 80s? From the 80s, and it has a lot of actors like uh, that have been in uh, Terminator movies, like Bill Paxton. It has him in it. And he's, he steals the show. I'm going to say that right now. You know, I've never seen it. Oh, but I man. think I know what you're talking about. 
Um, it's, it's a, but no, never. What is it about? It's kind of a vague, uh, vague movie. But I found it through the YouTube because I seen a trailer, and I was like, "How the fuck did I miss this movie?" Because <laughs> the trailer looks cool because it shows Bill Pax and it shows the guy who played Bishop, the android, and Aliens. He's in it. Oh, okay. He was also in Terminator. Like a lot of the Terminator cast, even the. Uh, Which Bill, is a good cast. Yeah, it's a good cast. The mom from uh from Terminator Two that got killed, the stepmom. Okay. She's in it. Like a bunch of people with recognizable faces are in this movie. But basically, it's a about this it starts off um minor spoilers uh there's a there's this country it starts off in this country as time he's like these redneck dudes like the young cats and they're trying to get a girl and this girl comes out and spoiler alert she's a vampire and she kind of lures the guy you know what i mean and so he starts fucking with her or whatever and then at one point she's like i gotta go home and it was like because the sun was coming up and some other things happen and she ends up kind of turning him and so he gets all, he's tripping balls, dude. He's like, he don't know what's happening to him and shit. And then at first, he doesn't even drink blood. So it's kind of like the Lost Boys. You know how Michael, yeah. the older brother, kind of got into this group of vampires? Yeah. Similar thing. Like, it's okay. very similar. And at first, you are running with this gang, and they're even killing people. They get to the point where, like, you got to kill. You can't. Because he starts drinking her blood to live. Because okay. she lets him. She's like, just suck my wrist and whatever. Just suck me, baby. Yeah. And she's cool. A little blonde chick or whatever. Okay. <laughs> but then the other guys, uh, the guy the guy who's uh, the actor who plays Bishop, he's the main, he's like the leader. Yeah. He's like, dude, you're going to have to fucking kill. Like, you can't be over here. He's like, she's going to die if you keep feeding on her. He's like, he's a country. He's like, I'm all right. You know, <laughs> she's super redneck, dude. And I don't even know who that actor was. I don't, I don't know. The main guy, I don't know who the fuck he was. Okay. And he had left his family and shit, so his family's looking for him, his little girl and shit. Damn. And Dead beat that. Yeah. And so, <laughs> but basically, you know what I mean? Like, he starts killing people, but at one point, and this is a, a kind of a major spoiler, I guess, because it's a twist. The twist is his little sister ends up talking to the little vampire. That's with the group because it's like his little boy vampire. Okay. He's trying to like you know he's trying to get her in, and that's I guess that's when he decides fuck this shit I'm against y'all or whatever, and then he goes into that kind of thing. Oh, I see. But for a little bit though, man, it is like you're just on the road with these crazy ass vampires, and they're setting people up to kill in these little country ass towns, and it's pretty cool. And, and, Sounds and, like it has a good plot. Yeah, and it's really you know realistic take on vampires too because it, it, it's weird though because they don't have like you know how Lost Boys they had the monster makeup and all that kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah. They don't really do that here. It's just like they do they. Burn if you know if the sun's out and shit right, like that, right, but they okay. don't have like the fangs and shit like that. They don't they don't have the eyes. It's okay. nothing like that. It's like maybe it was the budget. I'm not sure. Probably. And I'm not sure why that movie was so under my radar. Like I don't know if it was a budget thing. I, uh, I haven't seen it either, bro. I, I think it was a distribution thing. Like the movie stopped getting distribution at one point to some legal things. Mm-hmm. You know, ownership of the company, whatever. But uh, I was able to find it on uh, Amazon Prime. I had it pay for it I think or, or maybe it might be on Tubi for free right now on YouTube so Tubi has some issues yeah so people just look for it on YouTube or YouTube you might be able to see it for yeah. free and if you don't know what Tubi is look it up it's free movies yeah it's free it's movies an app. just commercials like you just gotta watch the commercials yeah it's like you know? a minute yeah it's, it's not that bad you know what I mean that's what I watched Songs a lot on yeah Tubi's great I it's finally I finally finished the book finally I think oh, I've been wow. talking about it yeah the past two podcasts but I finally finished Songs a lot nice. the book uh, written by Stephen King and it's also about vampires. Yes. Um, it's about this, vampires. this dude, he's a writer, and he comes to a town where he used to live in, in um, and it's, the population is like super low. I think it's like 2,000 people or something wow. like that. And he comes to write a book. He writes hard. He comes to write a book about this house called the Marston House where a bunch of creepy shit went down, and he's got this... Uh, like he, he was creeped out about something that happened to him when he was a kid. When he dared, when he got a dare to go inside the house, he saw somebody hanging. Oh, wow. So he comes back to write about it, and around the same time, there's this new dude that comes to town. He's like an antique dealer. And he's buying all this antique, and he has a, a boss. Um, and during this whole time, people are disappearing. It starts off with kids. Okay. Um, and then people start getting sick. And what the illness is, is well, they're becoming vampires. vampires yeah. Vampires. And so the dude finds out, and then his chick, who lives in that town, she gets abducted, and he tries to go find her, and they have like a little team of vampire hunters, if you will, okay. and they all start dying one by one and becoming um, vampires. They must have not been good at their job. No, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> 
the trees. <laughs> there are no frog boys from no. Lost Boys. <laughs> but it's a cool book, man. I'm not going to give the Andy nod if you want to read it. Or if okay. uh, yeah, I actually do. Want, I want to read read it and let's show the same thing as you. So, so yeah, yeah, I thought the book was it was cool. It was good. It was like your regular typical vampire book. Oh, okay. And it reminded me a lot of Dracula, actually. Dracula. It had all the elements. It had like the Van Helsing dude, who was the head of the little crew that <laughs> yeah. of the vampire hunters. It had the actual vampire hunter, uh, who was in this book, the author. Uh, if you were compared to Dracula, it would be God. I forgot the guy's name. Bram Stoker's. The one who played Keanu Reeves. Oh, okay. I don't know why I'm blanking out on the name either. I should know this. Yeah, but, but it was good. And now that I finished the book, I want to see the movie, and I, I found it on Tubi for free. <laughs> free ninety nine. You gotta love that. Yes. And the movie sucks, bro. It's so like, terrible. Really? It's the, like three hours show, long. Yeah, it's a TV I think it was a show. show. Yeah. Yeah, it was a TV was, miniseries. Yeah. 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 Okay, that, I guess that would explain sucked. why it wow. sucked. <laughs> But maybe back then it was cool. Yeah, but, but the yeah. makeup effects were cool, though. Like on the vampire. Yeah, yeah, kind of. But when you start really paying attention to the stuff, you're like, wow, that looks super cheesy and like, damn, yeah. terrible. But yeah, no, um, I guess I am one of those people yeah. that say, yeah, the book is way better than the movie. Snob. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, speaking of Dracula, people, have you seen in the latest news that uh, your boy Nick Cage, Nicholas Cage, is going to be vamp with Dracula? I seen a no, picture of it, and he looked cool though. I'm gonna lie, he, he was dripped out. Now he's okay. dripping on me. He had the red shit on. I think it was gonna be. I think it's gonna be a hard comedy though. And it's about a. It's not about the. It's about Dracula, but it's about the the guy that he uh, the the first guy that he turned before the main character in the actual book. Because uh, there's a one called Blackula. It's not. No, it's not that. It's not okay. Blackula. It's, like I said, this is Nicholas Cage as Dracula. Van Hel- it's not Van Helsing. I forgot the the damn uh, the character's name, but Rainfield. Okay. Right? You know, so it's about him and Rainfield. So I guess it's kind of a prequel to the actual story of Dracula. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know that many uh, details about it. Cause it was just a video I seen on TikTok a dude reported on. But I, I will say that Nicholas Cage did look cool in that, yeah. that outfit he had. I was like, all right, all right. Is that movie out yet? I don't think so. I think it's in production, but I'm looking forward to it. Even though, you know, Nicholas Cage has, you know, it's a miss, hit or miss kind of guy, but he's crazy. When he plays crazy, he's crazy. So <laughs> There's I'm a crazy movie. movie that I see with Nicholas Cage. Like, for the love of me, I can't remember the name of it. But he has a wife, and they live out, like, by the woods, and a band of crazy motherfuckers, uh, they're bikers, they, they break into their house, and they kill the wife. Oh, shit. And Nicolas Cage goes fucking crazy, and he becomes as crazy as them. Oh, okay. And How old is this movie? Uh, this movie is probably like, I don't know, I would have to say eight, seven years old. I think I, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think I've seen that. Yeah, that movie was really cool. Yeah. It was super weird, a super trippy movie. Yeah, he was but like a white really trash good. kind of dude, right? He was what? Like a white trash kind of guy. Kind of dude. Did it have Amber Heard in it? Because he was in a movie with her, wasn't it? Where he was, yeah, uh, cool. fuck, dude, I, that might be it. Because I remember it was a fine-ass chick he had in that movie. And, and yeah, something happened where he had to do some vengeful shit. He was kind of like on some crazy shit. It might be it that probably be that one, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I forgot I, the name that was a cool movie. movie. Oh, okay. He did some vengeful shit. <laughs> Some real crazy shit. Back then, uh, he's, he, I remember one of the last movies he did, he was cool. He kicked ass. I like the role he did. You know, that. He was like that uh, dude that was kind of like Batman, but he killed people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was cool, man. He did his thing in that one. You know what I mean? So. I was reading that uh, since we're talking about movies. I was reading about uh, Friday the 13th, and they're still in this whole fucking legal battle. Oh, Lord. And I was trying to find out what the hell's going on. And it's, I guess it's the writer um, who's got who owns the rights to the movie and I don't know I don't know what the exact legal issue is but it doesn't seem like we're gonna get a Friday the 13th movie anytime soon they got that uh, 2009 one I think on Netflix right now is it on? yeah which one was that one? Uh, it was like the remake I guess the, the reboot oh that's right yeah. I like that one yeah. I thought it was cool is it the one where the guy goes to find his sister? yeah yeah it was the dude from Supernatural the actor from Supernatural yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I thought it was all right. Went on back in the day. There was some, there was some things I liked in it. You know, I mean, like the fact that he was more faster and shit. He was like running up on yeah, yeah. and shit. The scene was kind of gory too. It was kind of like uh, they took all the first three movies and kind of just put it in one. You know, yeah, they was, together. That's yeah. kind of what it felt like. I yeah. had your sex. <laughs> yeah, it had the typical tropes. I had the nudity. Yeah, the. Sex and drugs. I like the death when he picked up. He had a girl in a knapsack or some shit. And he just started beating her on the fucking yeah. tree. That was crazy. That was cool. And I think that might be from a different other movie. 
Rudy too from old. I'm not sure. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. I can't recall which one. Uh, I gotta admit, people, I haven't seen all the Friday 13 movies in order or anything. Shame on you. Because uh, they were never in order at the movie rental places. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to hate watching movies like I hate watching the fourth entry in a movie and not seeing all the other ones before. Yeah, I hate that shit. Too. I hate that shit. That's why I didn't watch the Howling movies back in the day. You know, the Wolf ones. Yeah. Because they were all like the Howling four, and I was like, I didn't even yeah. see the first one. I yeah, and you weren't even seeing much. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> I heard only the first one's good on those, man. But uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I saw a list of uh, recent movies to watch. Um, it was like a top ten, right? Of yeah. Movies that you might have missed. I think uh, from twenty twenty to to now. And the cursed, uh, one movie that you talked about, oh, yeah, was yeah. on that list. It's a good movie. It's like, a I'm really movie. interested. In, yeah, it's a bad, it's a. A werewolf movie. Yeah. You saw it, right? Yes. It came out like two months ago. Yeah, months yeah, ago. something like that. Yeah, I gotta watch that, man. Well, it, and it took place like in the 1800s, something like that. 1800s, yes. It's uh, one of those period pieces. Uh, shout out to Stolandra for uh, showing me that movie. But yeah, it was cool, man. I really like the transformation. <laughs> But yeah, uh, it, was, it was some really cool transformation effects in that movie. Like, I love the yeah. way it was creepy, man. Like, when they yeah. turned into the wolf. I won't give too much away, but it's creepy, man. It's, it's, a new, it. it's a newer take on that kind of thing, man. I always like when movies do newer takes uh, on, you know, tropes that we've had in the past, you know, like wolf movies or whatever, werewolves. So it's always cool, man. See some creative juice. You know what I mean? It's a shame it just didn't get as much recognition it as didn't. it should. I wouldn't have known about it unless you would have told me about it. Same. I, even, I wouldn't have known if she wouldn't have told me about it. I didn't even know this movie was coming out, bro. Because so. I can't recall the last time I saw a wolf movie, to be honest with you. No, Except same. for that stupid Red Riding oh, Hood movie. Oh, dude, I just, I, f- I forgot to tell you, I didn't know those trick or treat movies were werewolf movies, bro. You know that You know how there's this Trick or treat movie And they always have this dude In a knapsack That's kind of like the uh, A little kid right Yeah it's not a little like, kid He's really a little monster Yeah I thought that was Gonna be like uh, Like I'm uh, From that cover I thought it was like Some cheesy ass shit Where they trying to make up The new you know The slasher or something Yeah But then I see You know people talking about it And I seen some reviews And it's a werewolf movie bro. It actually you good. Well, not, I don't know how new that movie is, but I've always seen it. I've seen that poster in so many places, but I always thought it was just some cheesy. Oh, yeah. Movie. It's different stories. It's from like, what I the, recall. yeah, something like that. But it, do you remember, like, the, it had the, the burlap sack he's wearing has stitches on it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what that character is in the actual movie, but it is about werewolves. Though. He's, if I had to explain this little dude, uh, in the movie itself, it's kind of like a Tales from the Crypt. Oh, so it's very different. So I guess yeah. Werewolf is one of the stories. So he's like the Crypt Keeper. Oh, I had to explain okay. it, but he's yeah. an actual fucking little killer. He's a little demon. Oh wow! He takes his mask, and I think he, I think he has like a pumpkin face. I can't recall exactly, but yeah, he has yeah. like a little monster face. I've never even seen pumpkin head. You know I've I mean? seen it when I was a kid. I can't remember. Uh, so. The monster design is like a rip off of the alien <laughs> xenomorph. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can yeah, tell. Yeah, you mention it? it has very similar uh, looks. Yeah, it has its fan base. It does. Yeah, out there. I, mean, I think every movie. Like Whether a, it's good or bad, it's all fan. What's the one uh, Wes Craven director or something? I think it was like a witch doctor or a fucking. I forgot. It was. It's. A, it's some crazy. It's a wish master. Remember the wish master? Oh, he was yeah. like that genie. <laughs> I seen some of. I think I seen one of them. It was cheesy, but it was whatever. You know what I, mean? I thought it was cool. Yeah, I, I think yeah. it was like twelve or something like when I was yeah, here yeah. in the theater. I asked my parents to take me to the theater because <laughs> they want to see it. I thought it was cool. I think Robert England's in it. Like as I a character. Right. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, but I, I did think the design uh, and the makeup effects were creepy. Like, they made it yeah, look creepy. Yeah, it was pretty well. cool. Yeah, it's an interesting movie. I think it could have been better, though, like, especially with the, what they're talking about. They're talking about Jin, you know, from uh, uh, Islam mythology. Oh, yeah, I see some TikTok videos on that. Some creepy ass shit. Yeah, it is. They're basically like the demons in uh, Islam. Yeah. You know I mean? So, they yeah. are creepy. I, I do like the backstory, though, because it gives them more bad. They're basically like beings. They live on this earth with us, but they, differ, they live on a different plane of existence. And I think they're made of fire or something like that. Yeah, so it's like something like that. I shared a recent clip uh, of something I saw on TikTok with my wife. Man, it was so creepy, bro, because it's this little baby. She must have been like, I don't know, less than two years old. Maybe, I don't know, I would say 14 months old. And she's baby talking to someone in the hall. What the fuck? I think I'm her mom is recording her and the baby's just pointing and talking and looking. And she she walks up to the end of the hall and she's talking to the wall. There's nothing there. Wow. And then she gets kind of scared and starts running up. And it's creepy, bro. And I'm like, damn, what would what would we do? That's some poultry. If we had a baby, you know. 
throw the whole baby away? Or throw the whole house away? <laughs> I don't throw the whole baby away. Don't throw the baby away. Please don't do that. No, we don't want a Brenda's got a baby situation. <laughs> like that, like. <laughs> but no, I think I've seen that video. It is creepy, man. But it's not the only video of that kind that I've seen where babies are attacking well, yeah, to, to ghosts. They're like pointing at them and they're playing with whatever that's not there. It's creepy. It's creepy man. when dogs do it too. You know, yeah, yeah. Sure it's like they have, it's like babies and dogs have this sixth sense that yeah. somehow we lose as adults. I don't know why. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's true. But it's creepy. Man. Some of my earliest memories are freaking creepy. Like I always felt like I was being watched and shit when I was a kid. Oh, like, really? Yeah, when I, I was like a little baby, sense. dude, when I was a little baby, I was creeped out by a lot of things, man. I just had a lot of nightmares and shit. For some reason, I just haven't forgotten all that shit like it's still in my head. Bro. Yeah? Yeah. Talk to me, bro. I'll be your psychologist. I, um, I'll be your therapist. I remember when I lived in San Pedro in Colombia. So this is a different San Shout Pedro. Shout Colombia people. Yeah. Uh, your girlfriend should know about this place because it's a small town. Wife. Between wife, my bad. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, your wife would definitely know. <laughs> Let's go, son. But, uh, um, so... In between Cali, Colombia, and my hometown, which is called Tuluá, yeah. there's a small town called San Pedro, and it's in between. So it's really small. My dad had a ranch out there, so that's why sometimes I'd be out there. Yeah. And so I remember there was like this uh, house that was like, you know, it was like uh, an abandoned house, and it was dark windows and shit. And I used to always think that shit was haunted. And it was just like one of those things. Like I was just scared to go in there and shit. And there was other houses, like throughout my childhood, for some reason, abandoned houses are always near me and shit, bro. Because even when I moved to America, we lived in the hood at first, you know? Yeah. And there was all these kind of like abandoned houses. Maybe it was like crack spots or something. I don't know. It probably was. But they were creepy and shit. So I was always creeped out in my neighborhood and shit like that. And um, Biloxi has some creepy spots. I'm not, well, not just Biloxi in general, but it's Mississippi, you know, the South. Right. And so what I'm going to with this is I went, there's a, there's a real, like, supposedly haunted place in a place called, I think, Ocean Springs. It's a town, like, it's a small town, like, across the bridge from Biloxi, and um, you have to go through the woods to get to this place. It's called, it has a unique name, too. You gotta go through the woods? You gotta go through the swamp? You gotta go through a small-ass, one-way-looking road okay. to get there. It's not in the swamp, so, but it is in a creepy-ass location. Okay. And um, you have to go through these woods, some of these woods, and it's called Rock and Roll Graveyard, people. And there actually has it's been, uh, it's been on TV, bro. Like, they've had those ghost crews, yeah. you know, investigated, so I'm, I'm sure if you look it up on YouTube, you'll find it. Okay. Now, I have not been there. Because <laughs> that shit sounded too creepy for me because the, the, the story is... You're going to tell the story that I've been there? No, no, I'll, I'll tell it, I'll tell it. I had a homie that worked there, so that's why okay. I, uh, I'll tell his story, I guess. <laughs> but basically what they, the, the urban legend is, like, there's some kind of albino people there that live around that area, so if you go there, you might see them, and they're creepy as fuck. Yeah. So they might come out and fuck with you. I don't know if that's true or not, <laughs> but that was just the urban legend, right? And so my homie is this white dude named Justin, and shout out to Justin, J. Magnum, he's crazy. And so his ad, he told me he went one day with some friends of his and shit, and they did ask him. And decided to go. I was like, "What? Fuck for you?" I was like, "You're so white, man." But whatever. <laughs> but yeah, he told me he tripped out. He said he was hiding behind like a uh, one of the tombstones or some shit, and he was just like hiding and shit. And I don't know how much validity there is to his story, but I have heard weird things from several people. But like I said, I've never taken that drive, man. Cause yeah. I've taken the drive close. There's a there's a road next to it, like some main road, and that one's creepy in itself. Cause that shit gets foggy at night and shit. Yeah. Um, my first girlfriend actually lived out there. She's a white girl, and she lived out there, and yeah. she. So I don't know if she's been there. She never told me. But her her house wasn't that far away from from that location, oh, okay. man. And yeah, so but it's a very creepy road. And I took <laughs> I was with the homies one time. We were smoking and riding, and out there it's illegal, you know, to smoke weed, yeah. especially then. It was like 2003, oh, yeah. and uh, you know. It was, uh, you know, my thug and homies and shit, gangs, and, you know, we had some gangs and shit, and then one of the homies was in the back, and he usually didn't hang out with us, yeah. so so we were just riding, you know, smoking and shit, so I decided to go to that road, because I was like, that's probably not that many cops around here and shit, you know, I just like, get away with this shit over here, and we're smoking blunts back to back, hot box and as you will. Oh, man, super hot. Yeah, and so... I get on this road and this motherfucker in the back's like, Diego, where the fuck are you taking me? <laughs> he started tripping out and hollering and shit. And so I stopped the car at one point and I turned the lights off because it was at night. Oh, that shit damn. was pitch black. That motherfucker started screaming, dog. I'm not going to put the homie's name out there, but that shit was funny as 
fuck, dude. He was tripping the fuck out, dog. He was tripping the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, bro. He was, he was scared as shit. He th- I guess he thought we were gonna kill him or something. But it was like, you know how the mafia does that shit? Like, yeah. hey, take a ride with him. Like, sit in the back. But no, actually, you know how you're sitting in the shop, shotgun and get a motherfucker in the back and kill you? But he was in the back with the other homies and shit. But I was like, he was tripping out, dude. That shit was so fucking funny. Like, he was yell- he was really hollering. He's like, damn, yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I was like, man, I thought you were a gangster, man. But whatever. <laughs> but that's my little little creepy tale from my hometown. I don't know. I was gonna ask you, do you have any around here in uh, you know, LA, man? No. 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 You've never been to like the most haunted. <laughs> <laughs> you've been to you've been to, uh, to the one in uh, LA in Long Beach though. Have you uh, the Queen Mary? I've been to the Queen Mary. I even actually <laughs> had my problem with Queen Mary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I visited Queen Mary That seems nice actually. though Queen yeah, Mary's was, a nice place It was dope bro yeah. It was a cool experience I was like man It was like one of the first times I ever been to something Elegant I guess you could say you <laughs> oh, know? So, so that's like a banquet That was your beginning Of your fancy You know what I'm saying Like that's fancy, when, that's, yeah. when, that's when you got Fancy love, yeah. Like I need to drink Out of one bottle yeah, you know, like, Pinky you finger know. Out I do that shit on accident I don't even be realizing it bro I just be drinking My pinky finger I don't know why I do that shit bro. That shit's weird But yeah I happened to the Queen Mary And um Obviously that night, no. At this point, I had no idea that the Queen oh, Mary had ghosts. Yeah, 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 I had no idea. But we just stayed in, inside that banquet hall, and nothing happened. But anyway, I went back years later, and I did the whole tour oh, thing. Oh, you did the tour, okay. And I went downstairs where uh, the sailors used to operate the ship. Yeah. Um, but I felt nothing. I, I, didn't, I wasn't scared, you know. The, did they show the, you the room? The one room that's supposed the most haunted room or whatever? No, it was a self tour. Oh, so, oh it was a, it wasn't a guided tour, yeah. The guided so tour nobody, was terrible. If, yeah, if, I, if it was a guided tour, I would have been like, hey, is there something haunted here? Yeah. Take me there. <laughs> but no, um, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel any hairs in the back of my uh, neck crawl or yeah. anything like that. It, was, it didn't get cold. Nothing. So I can't really speak on that, and but I do know of other places. Like I went to the Roosevelt Hotel to see. Oh yeah, the Roosevelt. Yeah, I've heard of the Roosevelt Hotel. I know they got ghosts. I went there trying to be, be little ghost, ghost hunter. <laughs> ghost hunter. <laughs> I didn't find shit there. Yeah, you know? yeah. So no, nah, man, I can't really speak on that. But I, and honestly, I don't know if I want to find any ghosts. Yeah, I feel, you. feel any kind of. Uh, I've been to the Queen Mary too. Uh, I did the ghost tour, and, yeah. and we went. We did actually have a tour guide, and he. Uh, it was like 20 bucks or something and uh, we went to the room the most haunted room or whatever and it was like a stripped down hotel room because they stripped it for some oh, okay. reason and uh, now apparently well not now because it's closed but when it was open I guess you could pay to stay in that room or something oh, that's crazy. but I didn't feel anything crazy at all <laughs> yeah. if anything we was just laughing and shit in the room it was funny would uh, you pay to stay at a hotel or a actually, hotel well I, wanna, I actually do want to stay in uh, the Queen Mary bro because like, I had got the only time I felt anything sort of creepy I guess was at the bar Area because it looked like the shining, you know. Oh, what I mean? yeah, so I was yeah, like, yeah. the bartender dude, it, was like, it has this old school feel to it. Yeah. And so I, I was like, I wouldn't mind staying here at night though, because the rooms look cool. I've seen pictures of them, and just just to walk around at night, I think that'd be that'd better. be cool. Man. Maybe if it is haunted, because I did the the tour guys from bullshit too, because they have some shit that's already set up like a Hollywood maze. You know what I mean? Like yeah. one of those Halloween mazes where it's like special effects. I'm like, this is bullshit. This is not what I fucking paid for. Like, the fuck is this shit? I got mad about that shit, but uh, because it was like the room where the girl was supposed to be haunted or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, and who is that girl? I don't even know the backstory of that shit. I think it's bullshit, man. I think they're lying to us, man. Well, and nobody can go to the. To the uh, Queen Mary anymore because it's closed. Yeah, I think they're doing rep- repairing or something. Yeah, like, I don't know. If, I think it costs like thousands and thousands, or yeah. I don't know, like, maybe part of probably even minutes to repair it. So yeah, city it's not gonna fix it at any time. So it sucks thing. because it's a really cool, cool spot. Yeah, it's a very old. Like I like I've been to you know cons and stuff when they do like tattoo cons there and shit like that. They even had the Halloween events there. I never got to go. My I cousin has. Yeah, I heard it's pretty cool. Yeah, I heard it's popping, bro. I've, I've just never been to it. But it's yeah. cheaper. No, it's like it's cheaper than yeah, most. Yeah, it's like, like one of the cheapest ones to go to. But usually, Queen Mary is one of the most expensive places. Like they have, <laughs> yeah. they have a really expensive park, and that's really the, the reason the I don't. It was expensive. The yeah. one time I went, uh, that I went to go do this tour, I went to actually go have brunch there, and I paid like sixty bucks. It was like sixty bucks per plate. Expensive. Wow, that is. Really but the food was bomb. Oh, okay. It was. It was good. At least it was good. Yeah, it was good. I paid sixty bucks at a home. 
fucking fancy ass restaurant food trash when uh, my mom was here. That pissed me off yeah, so much. I went to Pala Casino and they had that, you know, reservation kind of thing going on. Yeah. And we did it, but the food was garbage, bro. I was like Sometimes these places what you're really paying for is the ambiance. And yeah, the yeah. That's really what you're paying for. Fancy you're like waiters and all that good food. It sucks. Yeah. So yeah, it's not like disappointment. <laughs> it is what it is, you know, it happens. Um any other things you want to touch on? I only got a few left, man. Um, I this came out like a few days ago, uh, the seventeenth. Uh, the Congress held a hearing about the UFO sightings. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they cool, they man. finally like had a public hearing in yes. more than I don't know how many decades. Sixty years or something. Like yeah, that. fifty or sixty years, something like that. And so they're finally bringing this to light to the public. Like, yeah, this shit is really happening. Like. You know, and what people say, the, the videos that you see on YouTube, that shit is real. And what the videos that they show were taken from their own pilots, like... Yeah, their own pilots, I see. U.S. pilots. I see, um, uh, And I think they show, like, 400 sightings with no explanation. Oh, really? 400? Wow. I haven't seen all the stuff that they showed on there, but uh, I haven't been keeping up with it, though. But, yeah, this, this stuff has been taken since, I think it was from 04 to... 2021. Have you ever seen a UFO? No. Oh, wow. No. Never seen one. You uh, have the right Yeah, time. I have on several occasions. That's you why took I, videos that's why, Yeah, I took a vi- I have two videos of where I took the... The second one was weird because it was in broad daylight and it was I was going to work in the morning. It was just when I had day shift uh, at Amazon. I was going like at 6 a.m. in the morning or something. Mm. And uh, it was like, there was no clouds in the sky, right? And then, but I was driving to work and then I was seeing these bright ass... I don't know what they were. They were... They, like, I almost wanted to say, like, you would think that it was, like, clouds and they're just, like, kind of reflecting light from sunlight. Because that's what it would seem like. But it wasn't. It was, like, these super bright-ass orange orbs. And they were just floating. That's and crazy. I filmed it, dude. And I was like, this is crazy. And all the way to work, dude. I got to work and I parted it. It was still there. And it was, like, and I took pictures. And the pictures you could see, like, not only was that weird glow thing there, but there was also, like, this white light, like a, yeah. like a craft or something, like, hovering around. It was so weird. And, um... I actually reported it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I snitch yeah, ass. Nah, I reported it. Snitching on the aliens, bro. No, nah, this is more like just to keep document the cases, I guess. So I, I, I told Mufon, I made a Mufon report. What's a Mufon? Mufon are the people that keep them, they keep track of all the alien sightings. So when you have an alien sightings, you report to them. A UFO yeah. sighting, I mean. And so I actually did it, and I, I showed, you know, I uploaded the pages and everything. <laughs> but I think it's a good way for people like to. Um, like say if somebody else experienced the same thing I could hand and they could uh I forgot the word for it. Collaborate. Corroborate, you know, yeah, the, yeah. the sighting. And so I did and then nobody really came up until I seen a comment, oh uh, I was on YouTube and I seen a footage from a dude in his car and it was the same day. The same day. Yeah, and he was bugged out too. He's like, I don't know what the fuck that is because there's no clouds in the sky. There's just like these orange weird Fucking things that's kind of yeah. You gotta put a video on that on one of these clips of Yeah, I don't know what that was. I mean, I, I one time I did see a. Uh, I thought it was a UFO, but it was that space uh, X shit that was flying. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. In 2016, because that shit looked crazy. It was like this big ass thing in the sky. I was like, what the fuck is yeah. that? And then it leaves like this street mark, right? It's yeah. Light. It was like smoke too. That's why I was like, yeah. I was like, well, I don't know if this is your voice. This is like smoke and shit. Yeah. So I'm not sure what it the was. It wasn't. Was. It was super weird. Yeah, it's a weird looking craft thing when they did that, but uh, that one was crazy. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's, it's crazy to actually know for sure that aliens are out there. Like mm-hmm. people who always kind of known or, or yeah. probably figured that there's something out there, but now it's confirmed. I mean, we've never even got clarification on uh, cow- cattle mutilations. We don't really know who's behind that. Because. Chupacabra? Yeah, I mean, no blood's found on. on I the, mean, that is weird, too. And, and they've that never. I mean, if it is a person done, they have. Nobody has ever seen a person actually out there mutilating cows or anything, you know what I mean? Why the fuck would you want to do that? I mean, yeah, unless you're saying kind of a weird people. serial killer. Yeah, probably. Maybe practice them. But uh, there's always, for some reason, there's always uh, choppers also. Like usually reported after that, like they'll see like there's some kind of government choppers around the area where that happened. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's the government doing it. Who knows? But um, a lot of people say it's like laser cuts too that they find, like really precise cuts. Why do aliens are doing that? If it's aliens, and I guess they like beef. I don't know. Sure, I like beef. Yeah, yeah. cow ladies. I am all pictures and making burgers and fucking like. With a little apron on. What it says, I want to believe. <laughs> I'm about to draw that shit. <laughs> yeah, man. That's that 5G files I opened up, man. We, we trying to catch those 5G aliens, man. <laughs> man, but if but, they're out there, like, what are they? What is their? 
what's the purpose? Like, what are they doing? Uh, they could just be studying us. If, if they, that really is aliens. I mean, I guess that's what they're doing. I don't know. Studying us, but if they've been here for so many years, don't they have any enough data? Like, maybe they made us ancient aliens. Because <laughs> <laughs> I believe in that shit. I believe that they help create the pyramids. I mean, bro, you can't even fit uh, a, a piece of human hair in between those cracks. Yeah. That's how precise their construction was. It's crazy. I mean, I don't think... With those big... Ad- well, it's, it's also the material that those blocks are made from is really hard to cut through. Like, they just, like, granite. Yeah, granite. there's an actual... Uh, I yeah. think you showed me this documentary. They tried to cut it, and uh, that was hard. With the tools from the <laughs> yeah. time. And they, they kept breaking the they tools. They couldn't even get an inch. Like, yeah. It was so hard just to get one inch yeah. cut. I just think that my, my, my theory on that is maybe there was a civilization in the past that we just don't know about that was kind of like pre-us it was still humans maybe but they were just more techni- technologically advanced and you know how there's always that mythology about the the, the flood yeah maybe the the flood because you know water wipes away everything you know right, what I mean right. so maybe any evidence of that civilization is probably in the water you know what I mean like probably. and uh, they just wiped out everybody you know the original flood maybe that's why the flood happened was because we got too advanced or something and then maybe maybe the pyramids were made by uh, an ancient you know civilization that lived in Egypt prior to the actual Egyptians and right. the Egyptians just took over the remains of it who knows that's an interesting you know interesting theory I mean? yeah um so yeah, we we should get into more sci-fi topics because I had one listener. Uh, shout out to him, bro. He's a coworker, and he told me he's like, you know, y'all do a lot of horror, but I, I would like to see more sci-fi as well. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we'll we'll get into that, man. Um, we'll get into some more sci-fi, especially uh, I seen a show recently on Netflix, man. It's called Love, Death, and Robots. It was a it's kind of an anime kind of thing. Okay, but it's also mixed with they have CGI uh, episodes as well. Yeah. And a homie from work told me about it. He's like, dude, you gotta see this shit. Like, he really made it. I was like, all right, all right, What's it uh, love, death, and robots. Okay. It's a. Uh, he was like. He was like. It's kind of like you know. Tells of the Crypt like each story is different, I guess. So he was like, you don't really have to see the first seasons, but just watch season three and watch those first episodes. Okay. And I was like, all right. And then you'll be hooked or something. Yeah, and and it was like that because uh, the first episodes. Spoiler alert! But it's about robots. And, but it's about robots that are here after long after we've died oh, okay. and they're kind of studying us and they're like look at these motherfuckers this is what they did or something stupid they, <laughs> the thing, yeah, they're talking shit stupid about it humans. but it's really cool the way they did it it's really thoughtful and uh, the visuals were dope now that one that's the sci-fi one but right into that, it gets into some fucking Lovecraft type horror or some shit. Dude, okay. like it goes into the separate story, and this one's uh, also CGI. And uh, we're on a boat with some dudes from like I guess the 1700s or something, and they're about to kill this dude. I think he's the captain or something. I don't know. Something happened. Some kind of you know internal you know conflict going on there. Yeah. And then somehow there's this crustacean. Uh, thing that they have in their ship and I guess they caught it or something I forgot I was kind of drawn during this <laughs> while I was watching so I, I didn't catch like all of it but basically this big ass crab looking thing yeah. starts eating some dudes and he it, it actually has intelligence because it, wow. it kills one of the mates and it talks to him kind of like uh, you know remember Independence 4 when the alien did that shit oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. it's basically the same thing yeah, Independence Day yeah and he was like he's basically telling him like to get me to a place where I can get more food or something A hey, humans and shit oh, wow. and so he has to go up there and, and talk to his other mates and tell him like yeah this one's really gonna kill y'all if we don't do this this and that and so the whole story's about that but there's so much inner conflict going on so there's a lot of betrayal going on he he ends up sending more mates to get killed by oh, the thing and eventually spoiler alert the thing starts having babies oh and there's and he's trying to lure this thing into this island that's supposedly uh not inhabited by people because he don't want anybody to kill this innocent and so that's kind of where the story goes but some mayhem happens and he has to find an alternative way to you know destroy the monster, a monster. but it was really gross it though. Cool, man. dude it's gory as shit even it's on netflix it's on netflix and uh the cgi was good on it and it's kind of like an animated thing but it's really good like oh you, like you're gonna watch that and think like this should be a movie or something like it's that good it sounds cool i'm gonna check it yeah. out yeah oh i didn't get to see the other episodes yet but uh after that one it's more of a Cla- you know, classic anime like where it's hand drawn. Okay. And then I haven't seen that episode yet, but I do want. Like, I'm more, I'm curious now. Yeah. That, those yeah, first yeah. two episodes. Were, they got you hooked. Yeah, they actually <laughs> did give me hooked. So. Uh, okay. It sounds sh- interesting. Shout outs to uh, Josh from Nerds and Hip Hop, man. For uh, you know, tell me about that. It was really interesting. I'm gonna check it out. Yes. Love, 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 death, and robots. and robots. And there are robots. There's death, but I haven't seen the love yet. So. <laughs> and talk about that. 
But uh, I was gonna ask you just horror related question. Have you ever did you used to read Fangoria back in the day? Z? Nah, I remember what it is. It was a magazine. Right? He's no horror fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the show. Yeah, before the internet popped off, you know what <laughs> I mean? Like there was magazines, yeah, horror magazines. Uh, Fangoria was definitely one yeah, of them. Yeah. Nah, see, the problem with me was I was too poor to actually. Nah, be able I feel to you. I feel you. Afford one of those magazines. Yeah, it's, magazines are expensive, especially nowadays. Uh, I would catch them sometimes. I would read them at the you know grocery stores because you know how they have the previews. I would just go. <laughs> You can't do that. You can't be flipping through the magazine at the grocery store. They don't do that shit no more. They keep you out. That's fucked up. Fuck y'all. I'm sure they do. But yeah, I was a kid, man. I was living in the hood too, man. So I'll just go there. Sometimes I would buy stuff. Um, I remember I seen a what's that movie we were talking about? This kind of sci-fi island of Doctor Monroe, where he was like doing those genetic experiments on uh, animals to make them like half human. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Fangoria was one of the first magazines I read where they actually had pictures of the production of the movie that looked cool. Oh, that's cool. So I got into it, but the movie did not live up to the hype. <laughs> <laughs> the movie was just too weird, man. But uh, that, I, that should be a remake. Yeah, uh, the CGI in that movie is not good. That's one of the reasons it sucks. But there are practical effects in it. But the CGI is just really noticeable, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I always thought the CG sucked even back then. But yeah, they should remake it. But it's, it's a tough movie because it's so fucking weird. But I think they could do it. The production behind that movie was fucking crazy, dog. Like, yeah. They have they made a documentary about it. I think I spoke on it before, but it was crazy. It was like the extras and shit were wild and out on the island. Like they were having like sex orgies and shit. Like it was crazy, dog. Like everybody was on drugs, just wilding out during the production, dog. Right? And I was like, like crazy. I was like, no wonder the third act of that movie is just like, what the fuck? Where's this going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Because, you know, it does get, it, it hooks you, but the third act is just so bizarre. You're like, you probably got to be on the same shit that they were on. Yeah, so seriously, it. Like, it was chaos. It was like, what the fuck? Weird choices made on that movie. That's all <laughs> I got to say. But yeah, I think uh, uh, definitely, definitely uh, would be a cool if they remade it. Because it's dealing, you know, with Chimera, you know, aspects and stuff like that, you know, mm-hmm. genetic experiments those are always creepy you know what I mean Which aliens are probably done to us yeah. we were original primates and maybe they, they boosted us yeah. they gave us that booster shot <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that makes you think like yeah. okay we evolved from apes but why haven't the apes that are living now evolved into something else did you see that uh that one uh there was a Joe Rogan episode Parkers. one time yeah, yeah and he was talking with a Bob Lazar shout out to Joe Rogan <laughs> He was talking to Bob Lazar, uh, you know, the guy about the UFOs that worked at Area 51. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they were like, they were talking about a similar thing. And he was like, and he brought up that, that thing about how there are primates that are learning to fish. And he showed a picture of a orangutan. It's like he had a pole in his hand. He was like going into the river fishing. So and they're using tools. So Yeah. So there's like, yeah, a slow evolution going in primates even right now. You know what I mean? And primates are scary. Though. They can be really yeah. violent, violent I've creatures. You know I've mean? seen a video of uh, it's an actual uh, monkey. And he's using like a long little wooden, not like, what's well, a long branch, right? Okay. And he sticks it inside an ant's nest where, where you live in the dirt. He sticks it inside and he pulls it out and all the ants are on it and starts eating it. So that itself is a tool. Yeah, yeah, right? damn. Kind of like crazy. a fishing pool. Yeah. So they, they're smart. Um, that's crazy. Uh, they have, I think, what was it, like 90 or 95% DNA similar to humans? Yeah, I think a lot of things are like that in Earth, though. Like uh, I was seeing a show and they said like a lot of things are like ninety eight percent like we're, we're, we're similar to even a banana. <laughs> you know, so, that's so weird. Like, but just that one little difference is the main difference yeah, between. Difference. That's crazy. Um, they just finished mapping out the whole human genome recently. I think that was in the news, bro. Right. So that's crazy in itself, man. I heard, I read that um, eventually, sometime in the future, you're going to be able to to add or remove things from your. From the DNA the for fuck? your future uh, newborn. Oh yeah, yeah, like Isn't that yeah. crazy. Like if you There's want your baby to have blue eyes, you can actually do that. Eventually, you'll be able to give that baby blue eyes. Yeah, that's genetic. You, uh, I forgot the word for it. There's a uh, there's a specific word for that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's a whole movie, a sci-fi movie about it. It has your boy that was in a. Uh, the training day, you know, remember the white, the white cop, what was his name? Um, I forgot the actor's name. Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke, yeah, he, yeah. Was, he, was in, he was in the movie about that. And it was all about genetic manipulation of uh, kids and people. Oh, and that's shit crazy. Like that. Yeah, yeah. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Isn't there a dog, uh, a movie about a dog? Cujo? No, it's not Cujo. This dog is genetically modified also. Oh, and shit. he's like this, fuck, he's like a monster, but he's a dog. There's this crazy ass scene where he's barking at this cat and the cat's like oh. giving him shit and the cat runs up a tree and him, chases the cat and he actually goes up there. I think he has like, Damn. Uh, 
I think he has like a cougar jean in him and a bunch of other jeans. Is it an old 90s movie? Yeah, it is oh, old 90s dude. Movie. I'm telling you, like, I'm remembering something. I just don't yeah. remember the name of it. Because back in the days, I thought that was Cujo for some reason. I thought that was, I was just getting them mixed up. Yeah, Cujo's yeah. another uh, Stephen yeah, King. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about, though. I just don't remember the name. Yeah, yeah. It's a vague memory, but yeah, that's crazy. Genetic man- manipulation is scary, bro. It's crazy, man. Because you don't know what's, what the effects of that's going to be, bro. Like, who knows what that could happen. Um, there's a theory. Have you ever heard of human, uh, human, humanoid flying cryptids? Like, there's these things that people film, and, they, and you can probably pull it up on YouTube right now and see it. It's like uh, dudes that, that look like, like, people have footage of people that... Things in the sky that look like a human that's flying. What? Like Mexico has a ton of that shit. Now you could say like you you could probably like well maybe it's some kind of balloon because that's the only explanation I could think yeah. of. And uh, yeah, and so some people are like what if that's some kind of like you know genetic experiment or something you know what I mean the yeah. governments are doing, and that's what explains humanoid cryptids. That's like uh, the Mothman. Remember the Mothman? Yeah, I remember the Mothman. So that's that's a humanoid cryptid. They don't know what that is. Like there's people that think he's an alien or some kind of I don't know being or something. You know what I mean? So. There's a lot of that going on. That sounds crazy. Uh, but the videos are weird. Now, I personally have never seen a shit like that. <laughs> but there was something in L.A. recently, but I think they, they, they said it was a guy in a jetpack. It was a mystery. <laughs> yeah, it was, okay. like, it was in the news. It was like a big thing about it. It's like, what the fuck was that? It was some humanoid flying around LAX. And I seen the footage, and it was fucking crazy. It's crazy, yeah. But there's one I seen in Mexico, and it looked like a real-life bruja, bro, like a witch. You know, like, it looked like she was flying. I was like... My experience, I don't know, man. Maybe it was a balloon or something in the shape. Like, Maybe it know. was a drone and then it, it, yeah. you know, it had like one of those Halloween. It could be, man. Like, like I said, like, who knows, man? Like, I'm trying to find a, a video of it, but it's kind of hard to find shit on here. I can't show y'all, I guess, but <laughs> when, one day I will. One day we'll set it up like that. But you know what I mean? People just look it up, man. It's, it's, it's some weird shit out there, man. Things we can't explain, you know what I mean? That's why I'm gonna have to open up the five G files, man. That's that's coming next, man. Shout out to Rob Bacon, he might be my co-host on that, you know. That's that's gonna be we're gonna get into that really weird shit with him, you know. Okay, what I mean? the weird weird shit. <laughs> he's a weird guy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's cool. Strange fellow, but he's cool. But uh yeah, man, we gonna wrap this one up, man. We gave y'all a whole dark dimension hour today, you Jesus know what I mean? I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Parched. Yeah, man, that's why I asked you for that water earlier, you know what I mean? Shout out to all uh, you for that and um, thank yeah, you guys good. for listening for tuning in again and hopefully we brought you a good episode and we're gonna keep giving you some more cool episodes no doubt I have to start reading a new book oh you know what book I'm gonna start reading no Legion Legion oh oh yeah that's a, oh man I can't wait till you tell me about that yeah. cause I wanna read it myself it's the one you bought me for Christmas yes cause the movie's amazing so I'm gonna get into it I, I read the first five pages already and started dozing off but I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it and uh, talk about it hopefully in the next podcast Okay, sounds good, man, because uh, the movie, uh, like I said, it's one of the, for me, it's a classic, but you know what I mean? But I hope it's like uh, like Fight Club is in terms of how the book really just complements the movie and, and vice versa, you gotcha, know, so gotcha. you get some extra information. Wait, Fight Club from, is based off a book? Yeah, it's a boy self book, and it's I a really good no book. Idea. I happen to own it, and it's uh, it's one of those books I just had to buy, man, because the movie is so good, and it, it actually is as good as the movie, like they're both compliment each other oh, it's one of those true. rare cases yeah, where yeah. I'm not like the movie is better <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> kind of like uh, no. The Godfather yeah there's a few changes in it but it's nothing like hardcore change you know okay. what I mean so it's yeah. nothing that it's just if anything it just gives you more information you know what I mean so that's what, that's what I like about it gotcha for sure well alright all my boys and ghouls out there listening to this dark dimension hour we gotta leave this and we'll be back for the next episode, man. Y'all just stay tuned. We'll be bringing that creepy shit and that sci-fi, all that. You know what I mean? Probably shout out some more books, you know what I mean, on the next one as well. Give a couple more shout outs to people that are actually working on the book. Yes. Yeah, so so this week, I'm going I'm to make a post of people that yeah, should, are working yeah. on something and if they want to shout it out, I'll shout it out on this on this part on the next podcast. I gotta finish fin- uh, reading my homie's uh, book that he had put out so I can talk about it. You yeah. know what I mean? So we'll definitely get me uh, doing that. Alright, people, we out. Know yourselves. Peace.